Hi, I'm Professor Hinch, and today I want to tell you a little bit about what a scholarly journal article is. Um, and to do that, what you see in front of you is Google. I'm going to do a little bit of research with you all today. So let's say for just a moment that I'm researching happiness as part of an essay on what happiness truly means to me. Uh, to do that, I would probably start with a basic Google search, happiness. And I would see a bunch of different articles. So I see something from Wikipedia. I see Psychology Today has articles on happiness, something called PositivePsychology.com. Um, there are, in addition, a bunch of like videos, TED Talks. That seems pretty smart, right? Well, what I want to tell you all right now, as I look at the New York Times and I look at this Berkeley website, is that none of the things we've actually looked at constitute a scholarly journal article. So what is scholarly journal article? What is that? Um, the first thing you need to know is that scholarly journal articles are published in scholarly journals. Sounds obvious, but stick with me here. I want to give you the full definition. Um, a scholarly journal is a journal put forward by a professional body of people. For instance, the Journal of Pediatric Oncologists. Um, it is the journal of doctors who treat cancer for children. Or it is a journal put forward by like an institution of some kind. So like perhaps your local college may have a scholarly journal that they run and publish. These journals, their purpose is to share information with the world. Um, but in doing so, there are a couple things you need to remember. Thing number one about scholarly journals. If this is scholarly, we can't just publish anything, right? So um, we can't just publish whatever they're publishing on positivepsychology.com. That doesn't seem right. This just looks like a blog. This, uh, and there's ads. This couldn't possibly constitute something scholarly. So how do scholarly journals make sure that they're only publishing scholarly content? They do something called peer review. If I wanted to publish in a scholarly journal, I would submit my article. Uh, the scholarly journal would then send my article along to somebody who is a professional in my field that professional would review my article and come back with one of about three conclusions. Either A, I'm crazy and they definitely shouldn't publish my article. B, I wrote something good, but there are a few things that need to be changed to make it really the best it can be. Or C, they need to publish my article right away. It's pretty darn good. Hoping for that third one. So that's the process by which a scholarly journal makes sure that what they're publishing is scholarly in nature. They peer review. But that process of peer reviewing doesn't come cheap. So in order for peer review to work, they need to be able to pay me, the writer. They need to be able to pay the peer reviewer. Um, they themselves need to be paid and they also need to get money for printing and distributing the scholarly journal because I want more than just my mom to have read what I wrote. If all that costs money, scholarly journals are often pretty expensive. So now we've established what a scholarly journal article is. It's peer reviewed. It comes from a scholarly journal. And we know something about journals. They're expensive. Um, I'm going to tell you all right now that you really won't find anything academic. You won't find anything scholarly, very specifically, on a general Google search. What you should do is go to something called Google Scholar. Google Scholar is a scholarly journal database. Because journals are very expensive, a new business formed, that is the distribution of scholarly journals. Um, a database would come in and would collect as many different journals as possible and try to make them available in one central place. Some databases are very expensive, super duper expensive. Google Scholar though is free. So we're gonna try this again. I'm gonna Google happiness, but this time on Google Scholar. 
and now my results look very different. First of all, I'm not seeing ads. So that's cool. That's generally a good sign. Second, I'm getting more information about what it is I'm looking at. This first source isn't a scholarly journal article either, but it is a book, and that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, so I'll click on the first one just to see. I, probably I should have done this before talking to all of you, but there you go, that's my style. I teach on the fly. So I'm taking a look here and as best I can tell, this is probably a scholarly journal article. However, unfortunately, yeah, so it is a scholarly journal article. It's published in Social Indicators Research. That's the name of a scholarly journal. That's what I'm looking for. But unfortunately, it's very expensive. Remember what I said a couple minutes ago. Research articles in scholarly journals are very expensive. To buy a journal subscription would cost me $200. And that is the main problem of researching with Google Scholar is that sometimes because this is a free service, they don't necessarily turn back free results. But what do you do? You keep looking. As you go through the various results that come up, the thing that you're looking for to confirm that you are indeed dealing with a scholarly journal article is can you find the journal? Can you see any mention of whether this thing was peer reviewed? Sometimes you might find it helpful when you can't find the journal article. And in this case, I see one, where do I see it? I see it up here, the International Journal of Management Reviews. When you can't find the journal title, sometimes you might find it helpful to do a control F and do a search for whether you can find the phrase peer-reviewed. In this case, I can't, but because I already know it was published in the Journal of Management Reviews, I'm happy with that. And that is a basic run-through of what scholarly journal articles are. Thanks for watching.